All right, guys. Take two. Yep. This is the second video. Other partridge. And peacock. Yeah, I had to delete the other one. But we're going to try it again. Okay. Let me put this up here where you can see. I'm trying to do this blind again. All right. Put her hook in. And again, shout out to you battle dogs and uh, all you veterans. And you veterans need to get out and find you something to do. Holler at battle dogs, dog dog, if you're a wounded veteran. Great guys, Rick and Lisa and Doc and, and uh, uh, Jesse and all of us. Okay, hope you all are doing all right up in the snow. All right, let's try her again. I got my stuff together again. Had to take me a breather. This is a partridge and peacock. Okay. Trim for three. We need to use a copper wire. And this is a trick right here. You can put that at an angle, like I've got it, and you can see it there a little bit, I think. And then I'll just capture it on there a little bit. And then wrap it back right about where it is. Okay. Put that in my spring so it don't come off. Grab us a peacock here. I'm going to put this peacock here on here. And then I'm going to strip my partridge feathers. Temp 2. Okay. Just need my bobbin back over here. I'll do this the same way as I did the other. I'll do that wire if I can. Alright. Oh no, there we go. And then pull it back just a little. Alright. I've right, got our peacock on there. Yeah, let's see here. Let's do this little portrait feather. This is a pain. Okay, and we're gonna strip all of our fuzz off of it. We don't want the little fuzz. We'll keep that. And make uh, oh, what do they call it? Anyway, so we're gonna strip all the the ends off of it. So I can't. Okay, it gives us something to hold to. Then we're gonna grab the very end here, and then we're gonna grab the very end like that. And then we're going to strip this back. Oop, pull the feather out of my finger. I'm going to hold just the tip. And then we're going to stroke those back. Words like that. Alright. So you're going to have something similar to that. Yeah, it looks like, it's, it looks like crap, but it's all going to come together. Okay. Alright, before we do that, we're going to figure out what side we want to use. I like the way the top one's standing up. So we're going to take this and we're going to strip that whole bottom side off. Hopefully we don't tear it in half. Okay, now put that over there. Pull the foot off. Now we left with something like that, right? And we're going to take this right there. And that's all we're going to tie on, okay? So where we tie it, that's where it's going to have to turn at, okay? So what I'm going to do is this little fuzz here is sticking up. I'm going to kind of wrap it back into the, onto the body. That way. That keeps flipping, don't it? But anyway, then we're going to come back forward about there. Okay, take our hurl, and 
gonna wrap it. We're gonna be watching her feather here, or her peacock curl, because we don't want it to get cut by her stuff. All right, well, I can trim that off sticking up there. So we're gonna trim this up to where we're gonna make her wrap her feather around. Okay, about right there. And then we're gonna wrap, capture that about two times. Should be enough. Wrap that back in here. Okay, we're gonna trim this off about there. Bring this back. Now we wrapped that like that, like that, right now. Wrapped it to us. So we're gonna wrap this wire the opposite direction. We wanna make it kind of a rib. And actually what it is, it's duplicating the sections of the body of this fly, which is a, an adult cicadus or an adult. Okay. And then we're going to capture that just like that. And then we're going to try to cap the helicopter this off without breaking our feather off. Come on. There we go. Now, we want our color in of our feathers to show forward. So that makes the difference in where we wrap forward or backwards or whichever way you want to wrap it. And if you want the white to be forward, I guess that's all right too. But I'm worried about this trying this time to not break this. Okay. And all we need is one or two wraps of this. All right. And that's looking pretty pretty good there and then we're going to tie this off try to okay that broke we don't want that to come loose so what we're going to do is we're going to hold that and then we'll try to tie this without screwing it up okay leave that up there i don't know if we'll finish it and then i'm going to trim it Really easy. I'm gonna try to finish this. Don't come apart. Please, God, don't come apart. All right, I think we saved it. One more time. Turn that down. And we screwed it up. All right, let's try her again. All right. Get these feathers out of this. Jesse, you're probably laughing at me. And that's all right, you can laugh at me. But I'm still gonna tie this fly. And I'm gonna do this video. And I'm gonna, and once I get it tied and get this thing posted, I doubt, very seriously, that I will attempt this joker again tonight because I don't want to throw my stuff. Alright. Alright, here we go. I'm going to tie this in. Right here. Alright. Tie that. Okay. Now every time I put this whip finisher on, I think I'm pulling it too hard. Down here, snip it. All right, I'm gonna push these back. 
That's not exact. But how many flies you see out there looks the same every time. Okay. Now I made these. This. Got a real keen point on it. And I made it out of walnut. I sanded them, turned them. I gotta finish the bottoms, but I'm gonna put a, a copper cap on the bottom of it. There's the reason there ain't nothing there. Okay, I'm gonna turn my thing right here where I can see what I'm doing. Okay. And this is the reason that I made these. So I can move those feathers around. And I think that'll work. In all actuality, these are supposed to be, the feathers are supposed to be about, one, no more, no longer than about one and a half times the length of the body. So I'm just gonna go through here and trim each one of these a little different length. Okay. Okay, all right. That'll kind of make it, make it work. And I'm just gonna pop these bottom ones because they're on eye. That'll, that'll work. That's not exact. Ain't it's ugly. Kinda looks like me. But it's gonna work. Alright. And that was the uh, partridge and peacock. Okay. And that kicks my butt every time I do that. Now, I made these no jokers. I'm gonna give these away. I made two of these. I'm gonna give these away in our next meeting, or next time I go to uh, to uh, healing waters, Project Healing Waters. A good uh, organization to get into. If you got one in your area, I suggest that you uh, if you like to fish. If you don't like to fish, they'll teach you how to fish. If you don't know how, I didn't know how to fly fish. I mean, actually, fish, fish, but I knew how to work a rod, but, and Rick showed me how to do some of it, but I didn't fish in Alaska, but I one, but I did catch the shit out of the, the salmon when I was up there, okay, and that pretty well got that, you've seen me screw up, and we, but we finished it, didn't we, all right, you vets, all of it, don't matter whether you're a Marine or a our force, Navy, Coast Guard, it don't matter where you come from, as you, you know, do your thing. If you keep your mind busy, you won't be thinking about shit you did when you was over there. I know, right? So you do, you need to find you something to do. Quit sitting around the house, quit feeling sorry for yourself. I know I did that. I can sit here and holler at you and bitch and raise hell all I want to because I've been there. Okay have people holler at me, get you a good bunch of people to get together. Even if you got somebody to just sit around and drink beer with, that's your thing, do it. I don't drink no more, so. And, uh, but, yeah, do your thing. And, uh, you need to talk, holler at me on Facebook. Any of you vets, it don't matter if I know you, don't know you, but I get to know you, it don't matter. So, that's kind of basically what this is channel for. I'm gonna do some other things, so I just, flies but that's what I got going on right now I don't have anything else set up to where I can do it so I do hot wheels matchbox uh, I like doing the old matchbox stuff the old uh, heavy machinery stuff I do woodworking uh, I built a rod which I'll show on another video um, which I never built one I built a five weight fly rod that's what we use around here catch a uh, trout on um, and that's about it. Just get off your foot, get your finger out of your butt, or your thumb out of your butt, quit sitting on the couch and doing a pity party. There ain't nobody gonna help you, so help you, but you, you gotta get up and make the first step, and then if I need to come get you, if you live close, you come holler at me. I'll come get you, take you to Hillmars or anywhere else. Nothing else. We go sit on the riverbank and you can drink water or drink beer and I'll drink water and and we fish and tell lies and reminisce about all the crazy crap we did over yonder. Right? But anyway, 
I think I'm going to do one more after this. And uh, with that said, Rick, love you, buddy. You got a good thing up her. Lisa, uh, Jesse, all you doc, all you guys and gals, good people up there. Project Killmers, y'all are great. All right. That's what, two down and one to go. And we may do some other stuff too. I may do a, a pheasant tail again. I don't think I did that one yet, but we might do that one too. All right. I'll see you on the next one. This Matt's got out.